Alright guys, Rollout here and welcome back to another quick, easy video tutorial sort of thing. Today we're going to be going over how to make a dig that type beat inside FL Studio 12. I kind of did a video on this before, but I guess everyone didn't like it because we got like loads of dislikes and like no views, so I just deleted it. <laughs> so, hopefully this is a bit better, I don't know, let me know in the comments what you think, but let's get started. Um, 142 BPM, let's... uh quickly turn off the limiter here and get started so I'm gonna start with the snare for a change I'm gonna grab the probably let's see uh, minor scale from execute and we will go to let's say uh, B sure go to B okay um, so the snare is kind of a bit different from regular drill. It's kind of like so we'll do that now. Um, just bring this in. Make sure the setting is on cell. Uh, bring that in. I think it's like this. And then we'll drag that across to get the first note. Um, I just the velocity a bit on these second notes here. And let's um, throw in very simple, like a, you know, a simple piano melody. We'll chord. Okay, that's not a piano, that is a fart noise. <laughs> well, it's maybe not a fart noise. Let's, let's be a bit um, kinder to yield nexus here. It's not really a fart noise, it's more just, I don't know. Let's just use um, two notes. Let's put this up an octave. So yeah, it's very um, basic kind of chords here, let's add in a pad or something, um, we could use pure A, but let's just use Nexus, old reliable, uh, get pads, single layer pads, sure, um, I could really like bell pads, or dark pads, sure, I'll just copy these across, and let's add a, on the snare, let's add like a roll, by going to snap the grid, go half step or something, I don't know what that orange marker means, but we're getting rid of it so it doesn't break something. Um, let's go and execute again. Sure, that's pretty um, decent, whatever that is there. Got a nice thumpy kick. Let's put this pad down an octave. The pad down an octave, there we go. Let's add in some, um, I guess, melodies now. I mean, um, 808. This is the enemy 808 from Execute Drum Kit. Let's bring this in. Just a quick one, two, three, four. Hold up. So we kind of want like. Mmm. up here too high there so let's just bring up to maybe D turn it 
turn the velocity of this up and put it down to B. Let's get rid of this second part just so we can do it a bit quicker. Um, what's in the second part that we're going oh, let's do this the scale so we'll bring the scale in there's also some random note just chilling there it's going to be a bit of a pain in my arse to <laughs> find it where is it there's always one hiding i swear there you are in obviously a lovely noise there so let's put up the B there Have it playing quieter in the mix i'm gonna add some reverb onto this just to kind of pan it out kind of give it a bit more you know room space area whatever and some delay. let's add in some more kind of um slides and stuff here um, yeah, just be creative like we've kind of got the basic style of like that at least the Let's go up instead of down so like uh... Two, three, four at the end here. So let's uh, throw that in. Easy enough. Again, making beats is easy, guys. Once you know how, it's simple stuff. No problem at all. crash at start here and um, bring it down to B, turn it down. Velocity. Will they attack up on this piano bit? And let's add in just um just to kind of spice it up so it's not like the same the whole way through but adding like a piano or some bells or harmonics from a pure A over here which I've just now started to learn it's kind of it's not a hard kind of VST it's just I don't know there's some quirks and weird things with it so yeah um let's have a look and that sounds completely out of tune for some odd reason this is what i mean i don't know really what it's doing here Find something to fit. Sure, that'll do. It <laughs> works. I mean, just.
just something simple like that again just like as a wee accent works fine but, um, let's split this by channel I'm not going to mix it today because um, you know I've got loads of that in other videos so we're just going to quickly throw this in and yeah I just wanted to keep it simple for you guys show you like the, the basics and um, the only thing that's too different is the um, snare it's more like a ch -ch 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 -ch, like a quicker kind of um, quicker BPM as well 142 kind of it all works the same um, but yeah again easy stuff no problems um this in and we'll just quickly structure it easy um i've went over structuring before i have videos on that if you're wondering what is he doing here how is he doing all this i'm confused take me home i'm scared <laughs> I'm just, just kidding uh okay all right all right kick let's leave the kick out let's kind of add this in at the start and then take it out and then drop it back in like this um vocals we can have just in the second part uh and let's have it like this so, like that. Okay, cool. Let's add in quickly. This is just a quick afterthought. I thought, an afterthought. I thought, I swear, man. Some of the things I say just help me. Okay, let's find not a like a base. Okay, let's just make our own bass then, I guess. So to make your own bass, we're going to go into three oscillator. Um, three oscillator, turn, I think it's... Not that, that's the stereo separation. Turn these down, um, just name it bass or something. Uh, we will copy the 808 over. Or actually, no, we will not copy the 808 over. We'll copy the bass notes from the chords over bass and then just paste them in okay that's extremely boring so we'll copy the top notes instead there we go okay so we're going to copy this across put this in just as like a yeah a bass because there was a very it was lacking in low frequency at the start there so we just made a quick bass there which we will drop out before the drop so the bass hits, the airway hits better. And you'll see just by adding that quick bass, um, it, it adds more to the beat. It makes it, yeah, makes it more full. Again, one last thing, I'm just going to add some reverb and more attack to this. Maybe some more delay and turn it down slightly. in there for some reason um, so we'll just drop that in and we will make the second one unique um, and we'll like slide this we'll slide a higher note down to this so to do this we do the same thing we do with any um, 808 we kind of just throw it in um, make this a sliding note and we'll slide down higher like this and then slide back up like this maybe So we'll just play that from here basically and then should be good.
And the crash is um, looping, so this is what happens when you use a kit that isn't rollouts kits. Uh, they loop and they are timed and horrible things happen. <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding by the way, I, I don't mean any disrespect to Oboe or whatever I use there. But um, yeah, my, kit, <laughs> my kits don't loop. Just a quick shot there, shots fired and all that. But yeah, that should be the video, I'll play the last two bars and then we will be good. <laughs> Okay, um, hard beat again, easy stuff, no overcomplicating it, I mean these chords are like as basic as you can get, but yeah, um, hopefully you enjoyed the video guys, let me know if you did, leave a like, subscribe, share all that good stuff, execute precision, and all my drum kits are available now in the top right of the screen, remember to hit that like, sub, share, all that good stuff, it helps out greatly, and yeah, thank you for watching, take care guys, and I will see you in the next one, I do, peace.